Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna be going over this awesome, super cool effect that you guys need to know. Right after this. Okay, so here we are in Affinity Designer, and I have this file open, and it's a photo from some South American country and it's really cool um, ruins and stuff but uh, today I'm going to be going over how to make the text or anything go behind an aspect of the photo so to make it look more like it's a 3D photo like a like it's popping out at you so uh, I right here it looks like the mountain is in front of this text and um, it looks like this part is in front of this text up here so I'm going to be going over how to do that and um, I'm going to delete these things and show you how to create them uh, so right now is a flat picture and uh, by the way you can get look in the description and you can download this I just got it from Google Images it, it will download this file and it will also have the text in it uh, with it so it'll be like this so right now uh, to get started I'm gonna jump into the pixel persona and uh, I've made a few tutorials about this persona um, Affinity Designer is really cool because it has um, it's a vector program but it does have a pixel side to it and so you can sort of work pixel stuff in and this is a obviously a pixel photo so I will be able to work with the pixel photo and the pixel persona. So I'm going to go to this uh, selection tool. Uh, the uh, it like goes around and is sort of smart about the edges. Um, so I'm going to turn off the text so it doesn't get in my way. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and um, select this mountain back here first. Okay, so I just finished um, selecting this with the selection tool, and so I zoomed up and went around and selected it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Command C on a Mac, and it's Control C on a Windows computer, and then Command V also, and that will copy paste that selection. So as you can see, it created a whole new layer um, right here so that's a cool layer that we can make stuff go behind so I'm gonna hit you can hit command D but I'm gonna go up here and uh, deselect it up here and so that will not so that'll be deselected so now I'm gonna come up here and select this little this other little um, range or this little mountain thing in the front stair step looking uh, so it'll be like more layers in the picture uh, so for this you just zoom up just like I did before uh, make sure it's on add again <laughs> sometimes you, if it's not working you just have to make sure it's on add and it usually does it pretty well might have to zoom up for this the people a little bit but um, otherwise it'll work pretty well um, just to get what you want and you can go ahead and get this little section too. I'm going to get that because it seems a little bit closer. And another thing here is that you need to have it on the right layer. Um, so you need to be selecting um, the the back this big full background layer, um, not the not a text layer or any other layer make sure you're on the right layer so then it will actually select it well so 
so um, now I've selected this pretty well I'm gonna subtract this little thing right here um, I'm going to zoom out like this and then I'm going to check and make sure that's the good selection and I'm gonna hit command C and command V again and that's gonna copy another layer here I'm gonna come up here to select and hit deselect so that it will turn off the la that selection and now you're done with the pixel persona you can go back into the um, draw persona uh, but now I'm going to turn on my text and it's still right here it's still on the the top because I here I have to just sort of reposition the layers so that what whatever is coming on top is uh, is the right stuff and everything so I'm gonna move vacation spot all the way to the bottom there we go okay so that makes it look pretty cool and what I did here is I made a little bit of effect on the text made the back a little bit more less uh, less white because when when you look further away everything sort of gets lighter or like not as dark or as bright so like even though there's grass on these hills back here it's like all blue so I sort of made it blend in back there so that's sort of makes it fade away in your in your with your eyes so that makes it look like it's farther away so um, <clears throat> that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope you like this tutorial and if you do uh, make sure you check out some of my other other videos and uh, you can click on my name below and it will send you to my channel you can you'll also be able to subscribe um, if you haven't already but for those that are subscribed make sure you leave a comment so that I know what you guys will want me to make more tutorial tutorials about and uh, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you next time